Hello guys, today I am playing some farming sim on the, um, I think it's the Westbridge Hills map. Yeah, uh, I'm in easy mode because, you know, I'm not the, not the best farmer ever. I mean, uh, I have now removed that, which I kind of want back on. Uh, is it that one? Possibly? Yeah, there we go, that's why I, I want to keep that on just in case. Because I'm not the the smartest. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna keep that on. Um, right. So yeah, I started off in easy mode. Start off with eleven thousand. We start off with all those crops as well, which I think we're gonna go sell them first of all. Get them out of the way. So if I wanna get the most for a flour mill, where's the flour mill? Eh, it's not too far away. Flour mill. What's that for? That's for sugar beet in it. And that is also for potatoes. Right, where's the freaking tractor? Where's this guy? He's all the way down here. Why? Uh, where's the tractor that has the trailer? Oh, penis. Right. So what we could do actually is sell those two crappy little tractors. So there's only two of them. So one of them. I got those two then left over. So now I have 74,000, which means. Well, uh, they have 16,000, don't they? Uh, we're going to get one of them. Alright, just off the start. We're also going to get rid of that because I don't need that now. I'm also going to buy a. Uh, we'll be able to get that after because that cultivates as well. Is it that one? Mm, yeah, so that one. Which I mean, we could always just sell them and see how much we get and see if it gives us enough, and it does. So we we'll just get that now. Right, there we go. So we're, uh, we're set for a little while. Let me just drive this bad boy back. Um, yeah, these ain't gonna be like a serious video, so I'm just gonna try and see what I can do kind of thing, these aren't, yeah, well obviously I am restricted because it is the console version, unfortunately because my PC is not good enough to handle the computer version, but I don't know, it's better than nothing, I like playing it either way, so it's going to be hopefully fun, enjoyable for you lot, it's going to be fun and enjoyable for me, so either way, I have fun, I have it set to the time scale on 30, I have plant withering off because I hate plant withering, plus on this map, I never get to the fields in time, so I always lose crop, which then even annoys me even more, especially when I'm, especially when it takes a while for it to grow and all this stuff. So that does my head in, so I'm going to turn that off. Um, I did actually need to collect stuff on the shop, didn't I? What did I get there? A tipper and a cedar. I don't know if I can connect this to the planter, the driller, I don't know, whatever it is, to the back of the trailer. I know you can connect two of those trailers together. Just don't know if you can connect them the same time together. Uh, no, you can't, can you? That was a stupid idea. I don't think why I didn't know why I thought I'd ever be able to do that. Right. Take this thing back then. And then come back for the trailer, I guess. Well, I'm gonna have to come back for the trailer, aren't I? Because that's why I want to. That's the main thing I want to start off with: selling the stuff, getting everything empty, so when we go back and do it, we have all fresh everything, and we know how much we've done, how much we've actually done. Because I can't be asked to, you know, separate it all and work out from that. So we're just gonna do it that way. Um. Yeah, we're gonna drop this off, get the trailer, and start selling the stuff. Just so we have a base foot in. Whatever. So we know what we're on. What we have to do. All this stuff. But yeah, I wanted to do videos that nobody else has done on the channel. And I got the inspiration to do these from watching Dagger Win doing his uh, series. Is it still filling? 
it is. Watching him do a series on it, and it, you know, looked quite fun and enjoyable to do, so I thought, why not? I'd give it a go. Plus, yeah. <clears throat> but I, my videos <laughs> are gonna be nothing like his. I do enjoy watching his on a daily basis. The way, well, his motto is realism is key, right? So, you know, he's. He's, like, serious when it comes to this but me on the other hand I just like to get it done and yeah have a good time doing it um, yeah so I'm gonna be doing it in no means professional at all so you know if you don't I will leave a thingy in the description so you can go check out Dagger Win as well I mean as far as I'm aware he's not even that small a channel it's actually quite well known so you know you probably if you already watch Fire and Sim videos you probably watch him or right, somewhat along those lines I know Spathboy is another one who does Fire and Sim videos but he does mainly mods but you know this yeah they're really both YouTubers I watch I got me an inspiration to do these to be fair so that's, here they are. Um, they're going to be hopefully, well, they're going to be staying for a while. Seems just whenever I've done a series in the past, I can't ever seem to stick to them. <laughs> but now this one, this one's going to be staying, at least for the foreseeable future. Because I want this one to last. And this one's, this is a game I like, to, I enjoy playing on or off camera anyway, so... It's not as if I'm gonna stop playing it because people don't like it. I mean, hopefully I should also be getting new internet soon. So I could always stream it. And obviously the, the console version does have a multiplayer capability, but obviously it's not the best. Because it is still console. But I mean, it's not, it's not too bad. It's, it can hold six people. Which, in my opinion, on a farm is, well, I'm not sure if that's too many people. I mean, on a small farm, if you're starting off, it is way too many people. Like, if I had six people on now, there'd be three people standing on doing nothing. And it wouldn't be fun, so. But yeah, that's all stuff we can look forward to, hopefully, in the future. And I do plan to try and do other PlayStation games as well, now. But, uh, we'll see. I'm not sure... How it's gonna go yet? Hopefully it goes well. All right, we're coming up to uh, empty out the first load now. There's a train there. We're about to empty out the first load. These are the uh, potatoes. Goodbye, potato. All right, so how much? Do we get quite a bit. About 14 grand from that load of potatoes. We're going to get the sugar beet now. I know the sugar beet goes for more, so hopefully, obviously we'll get more, well obviously we will get more because it goes for more. So I'll go and grab the thingies real quick. Screw roads, who needs roads? There's a field here. Sugar beets, and we're gonna have to obviously work out the best place for each other one afterwards. Um, I think that's the closest one, so in a way, it'll be handy if they're all there. I mean, I don't think they are, I doubt they are. So, we'll see, but you know. Go up and load up some sugar beets. Uh, 
Um, it's still the flour mill in it for sugar beet. Uh, yes, it yes it is. By far the flour mill, right? I think we sold the potatoes possibly at the wrong time because it looked like they were on a well. It looks like they well yeah they are on a decrease. Wheat at the moment is on the incline. So if we get back quick enough, we can go to a train station and sell the wheat. Where does that get? What? Where's the train station? Oh god, it's up the hill. Oh well. Quickly go sell the sugar beet and then quickly get on the wheat before time runs out on it. Uh, and I'm determined to not use a worker. Which is something I always do. I can't ever to so just do it all myself. Oh crap, slid out. Yeah, I've never seemed to do it all manually. I mean, obviously, when we get more than one farm, like plot of land or whatever, we can use workers then. Or if, say, we get more than one and one needs to cultivate and one needs to plant or whatever, we we'll always use one then. But obviously, if at the moment, we only have one field. There's not much point in hiring a worker. I mean, saying that, that we could get the worker going now when obviously I'm unloading this stuff and we'll have the field mostly done. But, you know. That made me swerve a little bit. This weird the tractor keeps seeming to want to slide out occasionally. It's quite annoying. I want to see if I can reverse properly inside view. Goodbye, trailer. Okay, that was my first time from inside view. <laughs> Cockpit view. I guess it went too bad. We went in at least anyway. Right, so that's gave us 31,000. Um, I do think the next thing we should possibly get is either something to bail. Or a loading wagon, which we can get now. And then we can go on to getting some sheep. That way, if we get a mower, ring fellas, and we can go on to getting sheep, getting some wool, starting with animals straight away. So we want to. I think you don't get much for it, but it's all better than nothing. The good thing about sheep is you only need to feed them grass, and they will stay productive, which is a good thing. I like cows, where I think you have to feed them a mixed ration or whatever. Which is all just then freaking awkward and annoying and yeah. All massive pain in the ass. Right. Um quickly go unload this I guess. And yeah, we'll see how much money we make. forgot how much <laughs> I hardly even left and I forgot how much of a pain in the ass this hill is uh, down the freaking five six miles per hour just because the weight it is annoying it's not fun 
they're only starting to speed, speed back up now. That's all good though. We're back up to speed now. Get some speed finally out of it. See, it, it keeps wanting to slide out occasionally. It's quite annoying actually. See, it's doing it again. And if I turn slightly, it just likes to go. I'd be greatly appreciated if it would stop. I mean, we could actually technically also do the old fashioned cheating way of getting a chainsaw and a front loader and just dumping the trees into the square box and getting money that way. That'll get us more money. Obviously that is cheating in my opinion. wants barley where's the best place to sell barley 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 right barley is best to sell at the train station uh, flour mill flour flour mill right so we're gonna sell out the flour mill then it's gonna be a good uh get a little bit of income there come on fill up that's it right here to sell the barley Send to the trailer now, get it all out. That's good, look at it, just flow out. <coughs> all that money. Money, 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 money. Right. We've only got um canola and I think it's corn it left. So we'll go see obviously how much we can get them for. It's the best place and whatnot. Oh, come on tractor. You can pull. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to pick up a bit of my thumbstick. Uh, yeah, I know this first episode is going to be quite boring. It's just going to be me emptying the silos. So we have a clear gauge on what we have and what is actually ours to sell all this stuff and what we then make, which then I like doing because it makes it easier for me to keep track which you know I don't really need to keep track of that. obviously it keeps me I just like keeping I like doing it that way so we know how much we make and then when I get to a certain number of each I then go sell them all which obviously I'll have a bigger trailer by then right so canola sells best at the flour mill yeah the flour mill as well sweet I like it when it's a flower mill because the flower mill ain't too far away. The, the biomass heating plant is a pain in the ass, but don't have anything to load the wood chips anyway, so it's all good. I mean, also with the with the with the um, forage wagon and the mower, we can also make silage. Can you make silo just grass? I think I might. Yeah, you can make silo just grass. Grass? Just grass. Or we could always get the bay, the bales and the bale wrapper and do it that way. Which, I mean, I like that way because it looks better, but... Obviously it's easier with the forage wagon. Uh, we'll see. We go quickly unload this one. And then obviously we've got the last one. To un unload and then oh okay short little uh, short little spin but that's all good ah oh no oh no that's all good right past the tent sorry if you're sleeping in there ow that's the first time that's ever happened different never got stuck on the track before Look at all that, that black stuff pouring out the back. Oh, look at all that money. Look at all that money. 
We have 120 grand. That's nice. That is a nice starting point. That is... Yeah, I like that. Right, so we just got the corn to fill up on, and the corn goes most where? Right, corn. The warehouse. Warehouse, which is right up there. Which is quite annoying, distance-wise, but I mean, we are going for most money here. So, it's gonna be worth it. Well, hopefully it's gonna be worth it. I'm going for it either way if it's not or not. Yeah, if it is or not, so. And then we can think about getting the, obviously the uh, the mower and shit. And then obviously when making silage, that obviously will help with the mixed rations for the cows if we ever move in the cows. So it's all, it's all piling up in the long run, pretty much. Um, I think at the moment I know. A Crap, but I'm gonna get the workers started on this farm. Just so it's less for us to do when it comes to it. Um, and then I may take over halfway through. The only problem is I hate harvesting. Well, I hate doing anything like that, really. <laughs> it all just really. Uh, until I can obviously get two sowers or two combines, and I'll run one way, I'll get the other the actual AI running the opposite way towards me then I then that's the time I I actually do help because then I like Elsie I like the AI's help plus with that it's a lot easier keep sliding out it's getting quite annoying um, but yeah I think what we're gonna do I think we're gonna get the forage wagon and we're also gonna get the mower start collecting obviously and start making silage the silage could come in handy and be beneficial in the long run go quickly on this and we won't need this for a while so I could always technically well no I'll take it back because obviously the combines now running So we're just going to pull this guy straight through out the back here to the combine so when he needs it it's already ready and set up ready for him. There we go. Right now we are going to get a mower. I bought the wrong one. Idiot. And um, we are going to... Well, we can always get that one. But I don't know. If it's, we're going to get that one. I don't want the superly too small one, and we don't want the stupidly big one. Um, I'm going to also sell... Well, I can sell that stupid mower that I didn't mean to buy. Also going to sell this little tractor that we're never going to use, because I'm going to now buy this little blue one, and buy it the front loader for it. And I think the one thing we're going to need is actually the scoop and possibly a weight but I think we're gonna already have the weight um, let's reverse this and pick up the front loader and the scoop I'll pick up the trailer. I think I can also put the lawnmower on the front as well. I'm not sure if I can on this one to be actual. Actually, um, turns out no, I can't. Which means I have to use the other one for collect. Well, for doing the... Which, I mean, we might as well leave this here. So I'm going to need it. Take this thing back. 
we'll swap it out, put this thing in charge of... Well, no, cause, uh, I don't know, because we really need this thing down by the... Down by the silage pit. Oh, god damn. I mean, technically we won't need it straight away, so it could stay here for now. Make sure that the combine doesn't get too filled up. I just gotta hope this thing has enough power to power both the uh, thing and that. get the uh, other thing quickly and then make our way down to the cows with it. Where's the cows in this one? There, up by the flour mill. Is that, no, that's sheep. Cows are down there by the ga biogas plant. Right. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Right, gotta go pick this club quickly, then hop on down to the cows. Let's just see if it has enough. Oh, I can pull. Gotta be the main thing, right. Let's get on down to the cows then, shall we? Whoa. Right, we're now down at the cows. Uh, getting ready to just, you know, clean. I mean, I don't even know why I put... I put the silage over there. Yeah, I got no cows either, but that's not the point. The silage over there, so that's good. I'll start making silage, I guess. Um, eventually we will buy this field over here. And obviously, it'll be a lot better for us. Ah, right, this thing takes a hell of a lot longer than I thought it to fill up. <laughs> I mean, I've came all the way along here and it's still not full and I, I went a whole bunch of places and you know, it's just taking a sweet time to fill up. It's quite frustrating to be fair. Uh, but yeah, when we get this filled, we'll go empty it. And we'll call that a day for recording this uh, for today. That'll be episode one done. Uh, no, it's been quite a, not exactly a very eventful one. You watch me mow, and you watch me empty. But I mean, it's not. I mean, it could be worse. There's been nothing but me plow, uh, emptying a field, which to be fair needs to be actually. Come on, needs to be emptied. Which I didn't actually think about checking that whole time. It's just pretty much done nothing. Is fun. Did I just try and fill up my scoop? It did fill up my scoop. Really? Huh? <laughs> well, isn't that dumb? Why oh, so don't I just do that? Oh, that's just wasting, isn't it? <laughs> and this trailer is too big. Wow. We'll leave that for now. I can't be asked to do that. We'll leave that for now. Or we just get back to this. I can't be bothered to do all that at the moment. Uh, I didn't think about that trailer being too high. I mean, technically, we can always buy another tipper. Not too much of a big deal. 
Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll make it back, and then when we, went, when we go past a bit, we dump it off. We'll just empty it then and there. And yeah. Right, that's that done for now. We'll just call that a day. We're gonna go empty this bad boy here. Um, yeah, we're gonna go quickly empty it. See how much we get in there. I mean, I don't think it's gonna be a lot at all, but you know. Ah, that's nice. Just chucking in the grass here. Sweet, right. and it goes and it goes and we're empty okay I can compact it now well there's much point technically that's what it's doing is flatten it out flattening it out not flattening it out uh I mean, it's quite pointless doing this to be fair at this stage there we go it's 100% compacted we got our first lot done but uh for now we're gonna call it a day thanks for watching guys I hope you had a good time watching I mean I had a good time playing so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one